plastics. They are everywhere and used to make just about everything. It's a $370 billion a year industry, dependent upon oil companies to mass produce its product. I don't think a lot of people are aware that actually their plastic is made with oil right now. When you're drinking a water bottle, what most people don't realize is you're literally holding solid oil or solid fossil fuels in your hands. Mark started New Light Technologies in 2003 with the goal to revolutionize the business by taking the carbon you emit and turning it into plastic. This concept started with a newspaper article about how much methane cows produce from burps. The big light bulb moment there was, wow, there's so much carbon going into the air. We're talking about taxing it or putting it underground. Why not look at it as a resource? So you're basically taking pollution and producing plastic. Exactly. What we've developed is a technology that takes concentrated greenhouse gas emissions, methane-based emissions, we combine them with air and turn that into a plastic that can replace plastics made from oil. Walk me through how you turn greenhouse gases actually into plastic. What is your process here? The methane and the air go inside of here, and as they pass by the biocatalyst, it's essentially pulling out the carbon the oxygen and the hydrogen. That strand right there, that's a strand of plastic. That's a strand of air carbon plastic. The reason why we're the first to kind of have this sort of plastic out on the market is because it was never cost effective. And the problem is, in the plastics market, it's a 660 billion pound per year market. So if you add pennies to that cost, companies simply can't afford it. It took Mark 10 years to break that cost barrier. And now he's working with over 60 Fortune 500 companies, making everything from cell phone cases to bottle caps. What you're describing almost seems too good to be true. Who stands to lose here? The people who stand to lose, frankly, are you know oil-based companies. Exxon has 75,000 workers. You have 15. The way that you scale is by having a superior product. I hope that 11 years from now, air carbon is being used on the commodity scale. We want to be part of, an, of a new sort of paradigm shift about how we view carbon emissions.